Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this look here using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. I kind of wanted to recreate this gorgeous photo that I saw on Instagram. The eye look is from Live period M period makeup on Instagram. It's this one here. If you'd like to see how I created this look, go ahead and keep watching. I'm just going to prime my eyes as usual using the NYX concealer in a jar in the shade light. And then I'll just set this with a loose translucent powder. Next, I'm going to go into the Soft Glam palette and I'm going to take orange soda and start working on my transition. Next, I'm going to take Dusty Rose and work that into my crease as well. And taking a blending brush, I'm just going to blow some of that out. Just on the outside though. The inside doesn't matter. I'm going to take Burnt Orange on a flat shader brush and I'm going to pack that on the outer and inner thirds of my eye. I'm going for like a halo effect here. Using a more precise brush, I'm going to go back in and use Mulberry. I'm going to put that over top of the Burnt Orange. Just to make sure that there's a proper color gradient, I'm going to blend some more of orange soda on the very edges of the outer eye. Next, I'm going to take tempera and I'm going to put that all over my brow bone area. I feel like right now my face looks kind of like one of those face charts you see like on makeup artist websites or like on Mac where like the super dramatic eye but the face is like completely blank and pale and it's so stark in comparison that's kind of jarring. Okay next I am going to be taking the NYX glitter primer because we're gonna be working with a very glittery shadow. I want to make sure it sticks. I'm just gonna dab that on the center part of my lid. So using a finger, I'm going to go into bronze, this sparkly gold. I'm going to apply it with a finger. See if I can fix this. I got a little overzealous with the gold on this side. Next, I'm going to go in with a black pencil liner and just kind of put a little bit of black liner along my lash line. And then just taking a pencil brush, I'm just going to soften that liner a little bit. Let's clean up some of this eyeshadow here. For face primer, I'm going to go in with the NYX Angel Veil. I found the key to using this primer is to allow it to dry. Don't immediately, you know, slap it on your face and then, then right after go in with your foundation. It's just going to slide. Just give it like two minutes. Go get a drink or something. Let it dry. Next, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 5. Um, I guess they're going to be renaming and renumbering these shades because ColourPop is coming out with a whole bunch of new shades for this and I am like super excited because I love this concealer. But I haven't got my hands on those yet, so we'll just stick with the old numbering system for right now. And I'll blend it out with just a little sponge. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick in the shade Porcelain. I've been loving this foundation because it just looks so natural when it's blended out. You don't even have to use as much as I did. As a matter of fact, they, the 
packaging expressly recommends that you don't, but I'm wanting a little bit fuller coverage. When I'm done blending the foundation out with a brush, I like to go back over it with a wet like blender sponge just to kind of like set it down. There's no powder or anything on this, but I think it does a really good job of just kind of like finishing it off. Next, I'm gonna blend out my under eye concealer again and actually set it this time. For the rest of my face, I'm just gonna actually set my cheeks in the outer perimeter of my face so I can add some contour. And for this, I'm gonna be using the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. For contour, I'm going to use the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. I'm just gonna use the shade Light. See if I can bring my five head down a little bit. Make it look not quite so humongous. For bronzer, I'm just going to use my old favorite, the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. For blush, I'm going to use the e.l.f. blush in Candid Coral. This is very reminiscent of NARS Orgasm. Very peachy and universally, universally flattering. Universally flattering. Now I'm going to go back into Soft Glam. We're going to backpedal a little bit. I'm going to go back into Soft Glam and take Burnt Orange. We're going to put that on the lower third of our bottom lash line. And then using a fluffier but still more precise brush, I'm going to go back in with Mulberry and put that over top. After that, I'm going to take Bronze on a small shader brush and bring that into the inner corner of my eye. Then I'm going to take that black pencil liner again and just put a little bit on the outer, outer corners of my eye. And smudge this out too. Next, I'm going to take the new highlighter from Anastasia. This is the Amreezy highlighter. Just using a fan brush, I'm going to apply a very light layer. Now to set everything down, but this is not necessarily like the last step, of, it's just kind of wanting to melt everything down. Think like <laughs> in Photoshop, merge all layers. I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I've actually never used this before. Um, I was not convinced that this was worth the money they want for it, but I kept seeing rave reviews about it, so I got one of the little trial ones. Smells good. Now I'm going to go back in with the Amreezy highlighter. Now that I've set that down a little bit and just using the very end of my fan brush, just gonna like, do like that. And make my highlighter a little bit more intense. Almost gives like a like wet effect to this highlighter. I like it. And to kind of set the rest of my face down after I applied that primer water, I'm gonna go back in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Diffused Light. I'm going to use the Essence Make Me Brow Brow Gel and Soft Brownie Brows to set my eyebrows. Next, I'm going to go in with my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and um, the mascara I'll be using is the Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal in the shade Mystic Black. I was going to do lashes, but I really don't feel like wrestling with them. For my lips, I've had the Bite Agave lip mask sitting on my lips for this entire video. And I'm just going to kind of like kiss off the excess and then I'm going to go in and, 
and line my lips. I'm gonna be using a liquid lipstick, so I don't wanna take off too much. And for a lip liner, I'm gonna be using the Catrice Lip Foundation Lip Liner in Addicted to Cafe Ole. And on top of that, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in the shade Poet. All right, guys, that's all I have for this look. Here's the finished product. Easy to throw on for like a night out. I think it brings out the best of the Soft Glam palette. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, go ahead and click subscribe if you haven't already. And before you leave, hit the thumbs up button to like this video. Alright guys, thanks!